Hi, congratulations on the induction. That's got to be a nice feeling for you. It's it's awesome. It doesn't really, you know, once I heard some people saying some nice things about me, it started to sink in. Uh, up until that point, I don't know, it was hard to sort of fathom, but yeah, it feels great. You look back on the time when you started. When you started, obviously, you just figured, okay, I'm going to play for the passion and love of the game, which you alluded to. You never, probably in your wildest dreams, thought you would ever get to this stage? No, not at all. Uh, we were just a bunch of guys that were happy to be playing anywhere for for free. We would have done it. So, yeah, to be at a point where we're playing in front of 16 or 17,000 people and uh, people are wearing your jerseys in the stands, like, and then to have this at the end of it all, never, never would have thought this was possible. You talk about the fact that it's like a brotherhood for all the players, which is very, very true. Uh, everybody learns from each other, and you just want to play. And, and, of course, what you know, you want to pass on to the youth of today, too. Yeah, uh, and I guess that's sort of what coaching is allow allowing me to do. Um, it's hard, though, because the game sort of keeps changing, and you have to keep changing with it. I, I, what I know I can change, what I can pass along is my passion, though, and my intensity. That's one thing. doesn't matter what the game does. That will never go away. Is it more of a technical game, considering it's so much computer knowledge nowadays for everybody, where everybody's pinpointing what they're all doing? I think so. It's broken down into such small facets, and uh, game film has really changed that, where you, you break down every single detail, where before we just might have said the goalie is weak up top or something like but now it's like the breakouts, the short man, every, every little detail is uh, accounted for. So it is really different that way. You talked about the rivalry from Vancouver to Victoria, and I hear that from a lot of people. As yeah. We're here and they're there, so that's a good way to keep it. Yeah. It's it still got a nice feeling because you still had the camaraderie. Yeah, I, I still, it's, man, there's a Victoria radio station comes on and I still <laughs> flip, flip, it's, I don't know what it is. I think it's because we always had to fly there and they have such great, great fans and they won. That's probably the, if they stunk, it wouldn't have mattered, but they won. So I still don't really like them that much. <laughs> that's, that's well said. <laughs> yeah. When you look at what people go through in their careers, you did it. I mean, I know I've gone through in my own personal career too, where you have ups and downs and, and high points and low points. It's really tough to keep yourself focused. Do you remember if there was one or two people that really helped you through some of the struggles in your life? Well, Les Bartley was a really big part of that. Um, a few of my friends that I, that I, Dr. Hedges, that's the team doctor for Vancouver, he's, he's been a friend of mine for over 20 years now, and he was a really solid, steady guy for me that uh, I think it helped put things in perspective where I always saw myself as a lacrosse player, like that was my identity, and you know, as I got older, I, my identity was more about being a friend, a father, uh, an employee, and a lacrosse player was just something I did, and that sort of that helped ground me a bit, I think. Well, you've done a, a great job in your career, and I would congratulate you on this award because it was nice seeing Steve presented to you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks Thank very you. much. Appreciate it. Thank you.